make a bit of a clarification, when I say mainstream, I don't refer to consistently being in the top 3 most popular free to play games on Steam. When I say mainstream, I mean media coverage, as in I only have to find Warframe on Google to get the latest news and stuff. As much as we love to shit on Destiny 2, the one thing it does have over Warframe is attention. You can see for yourself the difference, one of them gets talked about by various outlets, and the other is merely mentioned for content updates and awards by irrelevant websites or occasional big events. Is it the fault of the developers that seemingly nobody outside the player base cares about the game? Not exactly, or at least, not of their own doing. Okay, maybe a little bit of their own doing. The most obvious reason as to why nobody outside of the players really talk about Warframe that much is because of the lack of advertisement. Pull up YouTube right now and tell me the difference between this. And this. Honestly I'm starting to believe that Warframe gets most of its attention from people who don't necessarily focus on Warframe, especially given recent uploads. It makes sense if you ask me, considering that Warframe's player growth really only seems to rise when big content updates launch on Steam, such as the Plains of Eidolon, The War Within, and The Second Dream, all of which were made known on Steam. It isn't really a bad thing that Warframe only seems to garner attention when some other big league content creator talks about it, because the general statement regarding Warframe is wow I can't believe this game is free to play. Why does nobody talk about this? Those sort of words from the popular lads are what give Warframe that image of a tiny yet flourishing title led by a small but devoted team. However, those words can turn out to be a double-edged sword, which is something I'll come back to in a moment. This really only becomes a problem for DE if they want Warframe to reach bigger numbers in terms of player count, because while growth isn't in the negatives, it's not fast or big enough to warrant being talked about by media outlets if you ask me. Going back to what I said earlier, calling Warframe a small but beautiful game is something that can potentially hurt it in terms of being talked about by mainstream media. Talking about high-profile stuff is what guarantees attention in the world of journalism, which is why you pretty much hear nothing but political shit in the news most of the time. The same can be also true somewhat for video games. Imagine seeing through the eyes of an editor over at Kotaku, GameSpot, or anywhere that makes articles about games for revenue what would qualify as worth covering to generate the maximum amount of clicks. A well-known and established franchise that is instantly known simply by mention, or an up-and-coming title that is recognized little outside of its audience? In the case of Warframe, it resides in a unique situation where the game is technically indie because it's self-published by DE, but DE are not strangers to the game industry given that Warframe is not their first endeavor. It is kind of understandable why nobody in the media except up-and-coming websites that give out meaningless awards seem to cover Warframe, it's because money is what matters. Unfortunately, industry demands as much profit as possible, hence why seemingly only the already popular titles like Destiny 2 can't seem to go unmentioned for 5 seconds. Even though it's a universal truth that the Destiny 2 is just a gimped Warframe dead horse has been beaten to a pulp and then some that doesn't translate to popularity among the mainstream media. It's also understandable why this is the case, because big updates for Warframe are few and far between. As such, there's little if anything at all to talk about in terms of making a news article, especially when compared to Destiny. It's rather strange how despite having such a positive reputation Warframe is still not really seeing mass attention. Just like how reputation can have positive effects, being notorious for something is, obviously, not a good thing. As an example, tell me the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the following names. Call of Duty. No Man's Sky. Cory in the House. League of Legends. Every game has a reputation in some form or another, and Warframe is no different. Even though the community in Warframe has shown time and time again that it can be exceptionally welcoming and helpful, Warframe still has a somewhat negative reputation, that being the learning curve it has and continues to grow since day one. It's never a good sign when the tutorial of the game consists of keeping the game wiki open on your internet browser, because that indicates the game fails to teach a new player in some way or another. The new player experience is something that Warframe has struggled with for a very long time, which is something that veteran players have been forced to deal with by assisting the noobs in whatever way possible. 
because Warframe has that notoriety of being that game where you will spend more time on Google than actually playing. It can be a huge turnoff for potential players, and even for journalists seeking to jump in. After all, in a world where time and money are of the essence, what's the point of trying to learn a complex game when you can instead talk about a simpler and more popular one? And yes, we've all made jokes about how Warframe is so farm intensive that we all have unofficial college degrees in agriculture, but that still doesn't excuse the fact that the grind in Warframe is perceived to be so bad that it affects how other people talk about it to non-Warframe players. It isn't a bad thing per se that Warframe is not in the mainstream. Part of the charm of indie games is that they're usually made by people with a passion, not developers under regulations and crunch time. Warframe falls in a strange limbo where it possesses the quality that you'd expect from a AAA developer, yet the name stamped onto it is one that 99% of everyone have never heard of. Because of this, it manages to retain its audience and then some despite being talked about very rarely by mainstream media. To reiterate, it isn't necessarily a bad thing that Warframe fails to reach the mainstream. It's just that it has problems it needs to solve before even considering being called mainstream. Thank you for watching.